Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the remaining ways Lightroom gives you to tag, uh, sort, organize your photos. We're going to be talking about flagging, rating, and colors. Um, so let's start with flagging or picking, if you will. Uh, if you hover over a photo, you can see in the top left, there's like the sort of ghosted image of a flag. And if you click on it, you'll have a flag set. That's what's known as flagging a photo or having it picked. Uh, you can then just click the flag again to, to remove it. Uh, you can also do this via keyboard shortcut, which is what I use and I uh, highly recommend. And that is just hitting the letter P, uh, which is for the word pick, I'm assuming. Uh, so P sets it. And then if you hit U, that unpicks or removes the flag. So P and you remove that flag and they set it um and this is this is one of the primary things that i use to sort my photos when i when i first import them so i'll, I'll uh, go through the photos and i'll just you know quickly hit p if i like one or if i like this one then i'll hit p again um so that's that's one of the main things that i use uh the flagging and that is p and u on the keyboard or if you want you can just click the little flag up here but it's a lot faster to just uh, hit the the letter P on the keyboard or the letter U to remove it. The other thing, or uh, the next thing, if you will, is the rating, the star rating. You can see, again, if you're hovering over a photo, you have these five little dots down here. And what these are are placeholders for star ratings. So you can give a photo anywhere from one to five stars. So, for example, if I click the left dot here, I get one star. Or if I click this one, I get four stars all the way up to five. And uh, as always, there is a keyboard shortcut for this as well. And that is just simply the numbers one through five on your keyboard. Or if you hit zero, it removes all of the stars. So for example, I'm going to hit the number three on this one and it gives it three stars. So this is just another thing that you can do for photos. You can maybe have a system where, okay, I'm going to assign three stars to everything I want to edit. And then once I've edited the photo, I might set it to five stars. Um, so that's just how that works. Uh, and then, you know, as always, you can sort by these different things too. So you can have a collection where bring me back anything that has the flag on it or bring me back all the photos that have two stars. Um, so that's completely customizable up to you, whatever you want to use but that is star ratings. And then the last thing is color coding. So if you right click on a photo, you can go to, oh, where is it? Set color label. And then you can see there's a handful of colors uh, selections in here. There's red, yellow, green, blue. So if I select blue, for example, you can see it gives this blue outline to the photo. And then if I click off, you can see this photo is now set to blue. And again, this is something else that you can choose to either use or not. Uh, but you can sort on the color, you can create collections on the color, and um, all that good stuff. So those are the three uh, things that I wanted to just uh, talk about really quickly. Um, and then while we're here, I think I might just go over filtering uh, really quick. I've I've showed this in my prior videos, just kind of um, briefly going up here to the top. But basically, you can see here where it says library filter. You can see we have text, attribute, metadata, and none. So right now with none selected, there are no filters. But let's just, for example, let's just say I'm going to flag this one as a pick. I'll flag this one as a pick. I'll flag this one as a pick. And let's give this a three-star rating. Let's give this one a five. And we'll give this one a five as well. And then let's give some colors to some of these other ones. Let's go. Let's see. Where is it? Color label, yellow. Set color label, yellow. As you can tell, I don't use the color uh, too often. There are keyboard shortcuts for color as well. I'm gonna set this one as blue. And then, all right, I think that's enough. So you can see we have a nice assortment of picks or flags, uh, some ratings. Uh, so once you've, you know, figured out what you want to use and how you want to use it, you can then create collections or you can filter, um, on your folders and do all that good stuff. So right now we're in our white mountain folder and up here on the library filter, you can click attribute and you can see this comes up with, um, some, some values that you can use to filter the, the photos. So right now you can see when I clicked attribute, it is set to rating 
greater than or equal to one star. So it's bringing back uh, five star, five star, three star, since these are all greater than or equal to one star. If I just get rid of this sign, the greater than or equal to, well, actually, if you click on it, you can change it. So just rating is equal to one star. Um, I'm not going to get any any photos back. So let me just undo that. Right now it says equal to no stars, so I don't think we'll see any of the star ratings in here. So if I switch it back to greater than or equal to, then you can see the five star photo show up. Uh, the other attribute you can set here is the flag. So right here we can say, uh, so right now it's currently set to any flag status, but if we click this one on the left here, it's gonna only bring me back the photos that I have flagged as a pick. Or I can choose this one and say, bring me back. Actually, I have to uncheck the flag. But right now with this one selected, it's giving me all the photos that weren't flagged. Okay, and then if you click this left one, it is unflagged and rejected photos only. Um, so that's that's how you can filter on a on a folder. You can see over here you have you have the colors as well, so you can filter on those. I can show me all the yellow fo uh, photos. There there those are. Uh, let's see, did we do blue? There's some blue ones. I think we maybe did one green. Those are unlabeled ones. Did we have green? I'm also colorblind, so this is really difficult. That's why, that's why I don't use colors. I don't think we did use green. Anyway, setting none removes the filter altogether, and you can see all the photos back here. Um, and then you can also filter uh, on edits. So filter on the photos that have been edited, filter ones that have not been edited. Um, and then there's metadata that we looked at before. This is the main metadata that uh, shows up in the XF data over here of a photo. So I can filter, I can just show me all the photos I took with my Tamron 28 to 75 or all of the photos of my 35, anything on my Nikon D700. So if you had multiple cameras in here, you could select the ones you took on this camera versus that camera, different focal lengths, um, 48 millimeter, only one, the rest are at 75 and 28. This is probably the Tamron because I don't have a 48 millimeter lens. Um, but that's that's how that works. And then under text, let's see if we go to none and then go to text, we can filter on keywords, file names, uh, captions, um, any of the other searchable metadata that you might have. So uh, it's pretty powerful. Um, as we've seen in the prior videos, there are uh, endless number of ways you can tag your photos keywords, ratings, flags, colors, um, metadata. It's all there to add, to manipulate, and then you can use it to filter on. So that's going to be it for this one. This sort of wraps up uh, our overview of the different ways that Lightroom gives you to organize your photos. In the next one, I'm going to walk through the process that I use when I'm calling through a large set of photos. And uh, we're going to continue using this this import as an example for, for this part of the course. When we get into the develop panel later, I'm probably gonna jump over to my actual real life collection because I have a lot more photos in there to, to choose from. But for now, we're gonna stick with this sample collection. So thanks for checking this one out. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, share it. Uh, it's a huge help if you do that. So thanks again for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.